Well, hello everyone welcome back guys and in this video we are going to solve lab number one from the csrf vulnerability module so this lab is all about csrf vulnerability with no defenses so that means uh, maybe we will not see the csrf token or something like this we will see that in a minute so it's saying this uh, lab's email change functionality is vulnerable to csrf to solve the lab craft some html that uses a csrf uh, attack to change the viewer's email address and upload it to your exploit server fine and we have uh, credentials wiener and the password is peter so i already accessed the lab here this is our uh, lab i'm going to turn on the burp proxy on my browser so i can pass the traffic through burp proxy uh, first thing first i'm just going to first of all log in to my account uh, Wiener and the password is Peter so here what I'm going to do is uh, because this is our account we are going to log in and we test the change email functionality uh, for CSRF if it is effective and succeeded in our account then we can go for it uh, to victimize someone uh, there is a little disclaimer that this video and its content are only for educational and awareness purpose and i do not support any unethical activities and if you like the content please like subscribe and share so let's go i'm going to log in don't save and this is the email change functionality and i am uh, okay all the traffic as you can see passed through the burp proxy now let's change the email so i'm gonna say instead of wiener I'm uh, saying wiener at test dot vest. Okay. Update email. And as you can see, now email has been changed. Now back to the proxy. And if we see, uh, this is the post request. And here, this is our request. I'm going to send it to the repeater to just see uh, closely. Uh, 302 found so now you can see this is the endpoint uh, for changing the email this is the host name uh, fqdn and as you can see there is no csrf token although there is session cookie but this session cookie does not tie with any csrf token also there is no same site cookie okay so that means uh, there is no defense against csrf uh, here so what I'm going to do here is my purpose is to victimize this Wiener user in such a way that we will send this user a link and within that link we will have some hidden form and that form will be submitted automatically uh, without user knowing that action has been performed under the hood so let's go first of all i'm going to open mouse pad and here we saw that to save the time just i'm going to uh, copy this script okay so copy that and paste it here fine so few things to be changed here like uh, because this we have changed let's say here i'm going to put our control domain okay uh, rest of the things seems perfect so if we see closely uh, i'm going to copy the url from here and paste it in the action this is the first thing because this is the my account slash change email this is the endpoint for changing the email and the request method is post you can see here this is the post and uh, the uh, request body contains uh, one parameter email and its value is the email we want to change because we don't want the user to see this input field so we defined here the type is hidden and the parameter name is email and its value is pond at uh, let's go to the lab again and here we have the exploit server so this exploit server we can consider it like our controlled uh, server fine uh, we can go to the exploit server so attacker have control on this server 
now you can see this is the fully qualified domain name for the server so i'm going to copy it and paste it here fine so we want to change the email of the victim to this email now the purpose could be anything because once we change the email we may try to change the password of the user okay uh, we may want that any sensitive email sent by the organization to that user is now sent to us instead of that user because we change this email fine so let's go and i'm going to because there is already a body section so i'm going to just copy this part okay and paste it here um, fine so this is the thing and we need to store it and we need to deliver this exploit to the victim okay now because this is the internal uh, internal setup from the port swigger okay so there is something like delivered exploit to the victim but in the real life scenario you need to deliver the exploit to the victim uh, in a way like by sending the email or sending some message or uh, something or by xss2 so deliver exploit to the victim and you can see congratulations we solved the lab so if we go back to our account let's see i'm going to view exploit let's see our email gets changed or not ah uh, the email is not available why because uh, this email is already assigned to a user so we need to change the email little bit come on where is exploit server uh let's access the lab again maybe uh it is only for one time use after solving the lab it will be disabled yeah something like this okay no issues uh we can try it one more time uh by just uh, setting up something locally the desktop and within the desktop let's see i'm going to save this file to make this uh, more legitimate i'm going to say h1 h1 um welcome to bogus insurance corp okay and let's say a paragraph is there slash p and here i'm going to write something like uh, your father um left a secret property for you um with us and now it's uh it's the time for you to receive it um uh, to take ownership of it fine something like this uh, which uh, looks more legitimate now once we load this page let's save this i'm going to save it in the desktop fake.html okay um and let's go i'm going to publish one server here let's say python3 space hyphen m uh, http dot server on port number 80 okay uh, now the server is listening and if we go here and let's open another terminal and i'm going to access http colon slash slash uh, if we have a public ip and we published it so uh, we need to put here public ip and uh, if we already have a domain registered so we will put here the 
name of the website right um, slash fake.com okay uh, sorry fake.html fine hit enter now you can see uh, okay so first it said welcome to the uh, bogus insurance corp and this is the message but here do you see any uh, input field or any form or any button no the user the normal user will only see this page this message but behind the scene you can see once this page is loaded we cannot see here any input field or any button but behind the scene browser is actually making a request to change our email so i'm just going to refresh one more time and as you can see, uh, we are redirected to this. Why it's giving us this message that email is not available because this email is already assigned to another user. So I'm just going to add it to two. And again, I'm going to, let's say I send, I send this URL. Uh, I send this URL to the victim in the email with some content so once the user is going to click on it so it is uh, it gets open in the browser and once it's get open in the browser the page is loaded and the uh, under the hood behind the scene the request is generated for changing the email and as you can see it's change our email fine so that is the whole scenario for this lab and for the CSRF, fine. And I'm going to see you in the next lab. The lab is sold now. If you like the content, please like, subscribe and share. See you in the next video. Bye.